All right, so what do I have now? I'm going back to chapter five. I had a question by a student, and let's go through and see how to solve it. Sine of x equals three-fifths. Cosine of y equals negative seven twenty-fifths. X is in quadrant one. Y is in quadrant three. Once again, why is this important? Because when I look at my quadrants, I have all spiders taste crunchy. Here, all the trig functions are positive. Here, just the sine. Here, just the tangent. And here, just the cosine. So when I get ready and say the sine of x is 3 fifths and it's in quadrant 1, I'm going to start by putting 3 fifths. Here's x. I'm in quadrant 1. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. When I do the work, I know this side is now going to be 4. Y is in quadrant three, so I have to draw the graph for Y. I know that it's negative seven over 25, and I need to calculate the Pythagorean triple for here, and I believe it would be negative 24. Okay, so now that I have pictures of what I need to use, question asked for, find the sine of X plus Y sine of x plus y will be the sine of the first, cosine of the second, plus the sine of the second, cosine of the first. Taking a look at this, the sine of x, I come up to x, sine three-fifths, cosine of y, negative seven over 25, plus the sine of y is negative 24 over 25 times the cosine of x, which is 4 fifths. Common denominator for each of these is going to be 125. There's negative 21, and this would be negative 96. Combining these, I get negative 117 over 125. If you then want to find the cosine of a difference, you do the same thing. Expand it using its identity, then go back to the pictures you drew and get the actual values. Hope that helps.